thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, the latest on our projects is that uh, we're about to put in 10,000 metres of uh, drilling into two projects. So we've, we've got uh, the Tandara Gold Project, which is uh, farmed out to Catalyst Metals. And uh, this is just north of uh, Bendigo and very close to the Fosterville Gold Mine. So they're putting in 3,000 metres of uh, diamond drilling, which is starting up uh, later this month. And uh, at our other um, flagship project, uh, which is the Irvine Gold Project, which is 15 kilometres south of uh, Stahl, we've just embarked on a, a 7,000 metre air core drilling program, and uh, we're about 3,000 metres through that. So we're expecting to have that uh, completed uh, just prior to Christmas, and uh, we should start seeing our first uh, results from that um, probably later this month. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of excitement at the moment. Uh, when, whenever you're drilling, um, you're always starting to see uh, some, some fascinating things. And uh, as Forrest Gump once, sent, once said, uh, you know, life uh, drilling is like opening a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're going to get in it. So uh, <laughs> it's fascinating. I, I think we're on the cusp of, uh, of a, um, a, an, another bull market. And uh, there were some interesting talks in iMark yesterday by uh, Rick Rule out of uh, Sprott. And, uh, He's, um, I tend to agree with his uh, synopsis of where things are at. The, the first movers generally tend to be the precious metals. And, um, and with a lot of uncertainty in the world, uh, we, we're sort of seeing that, um, particularly in Australian dollar terms, that the, the gold price has been quite strong for quite a while. Um, and particularly in Victoria, where, uh, where, um, where most of our projects are, are located, uh, we're seeing that um, Kirkland Lake are doing some wonderful things at uh, the Fosterville gold mine. So it's, it's fast becoming one of the world's greatest uh, gold mines and some absolutely sensational grades coming through that. And it's reawakening uh, the, um, um, I guess, the, the prospectivity, uh, the, the heyday back to uh, Victoria again, which is, is absolutely exciting. I, I think, again, sort of uh, just following in from um, what Rick Rule was saying, is that I believe that we're on the cusp of the next boom. Uh, and the way, I, the way I see this at the moment is that um, uh, it's been very easy to get drill rigs up until recently, and uh, now the waiting time is sort of uh, taking longer. The mobilisation costs are starting to increase. Uh, when we look at assays now, the, um, you know, the time to sort of get uh, your results from the assay labs, are, uh, that's starting to stretch out. So these are all the very early signs of uh, the start of the next boom, uh, and um, and bring it on. It's it's been uh, it's been a while. Um, the uh, the bear market has really sort of um, uh, forced us to tighten our belts and be uh, very careful about how we spend. And we just feel uh, at the moment um, being able to raise money is a lot easier, and uh, and there's a lot of appetite for um, the projects that we have. And uh, and uh, this is all a good sign for the next boom. So I think 2018 is going to be uh, an exciting year, exceptional year. I, I just think that um, what I'm seeing here uh, uh, today over these last few days is that um, uh, we're, uh, we're able to see a lot of investors coming in uh, into this area. They're, uh, they're very interested in um, what's going on in the gold sector and in the mining sector. And uh, the way this is set up here, it, it's, it's very interactive. So uh, we've got a good group of um, uh, a bit of a mining hub here, uh, and we've got sort of suppliers there that supply um, goods and services to the uh, the mining industry, and, uh, and the investors can come in here and sort of interact with uh, with everyone here. It's a it's a great setup. It's working very well. I think the numbers are up uh, substantially on the, the previous couple of years, and if uh, if you go to the uh, to, to the uh, the barista for the free coffee there. She's just telling us that uh, it's uh, unbelievable compared to last year. So it's a good sign that things are on the, on the way up and the organisers have done an exceptional job to pull this together. Since being at iMark, look, we're a, a junior uh, mineral explorer looking for gold. And uh, since being here at iMark, uh, we've had a lot of investors coming through, uh, uh, you know, they haven't seen our story before. And it's always hard to sort of get your message out amongst everyone else. And uh, since uh, for these three days, our stock price has uh, risen about 20%. So we're up about one and a half cents uh, at the moment. And uh, so this is, uh, this is fantastic for, uh, for a company like Navarre Minerals. And, um, and uh, you know, it, it, it means that we're going to be back here uh, next year. It's, it's just been fantastic.